Madam President. Majority Floor Leader. I now ask unanimous consent that at 1.30 p.m. today, the Senate proceed to the consideration of S-3664, which is a bill regarding debt limit increases, the text of which is at the desk, that there be no amendments in order to the bill, that there be up to 10 minutes of debate equally divided between the two leaders or the designees, that upon the use or yielding back of that time, the bill be read a third time, the Senate proceed to passage of S-3664. Is there objection? Madam President, reserving the right to object, matters of this uh, controversy, what we're talking about here is a perpetual debt ceiling uh, grant, in effect, to the President. Matters of this uh, level of controversy always require 60 votes, and so I would ask my friend, the Majority Leader, if he would modify his consent agreement to set the threshold for this vote at 60. Madam President. Majority Leader. Reserving the right to object, but what we have here is a case of Republicans here in the Senate once again not taking yes for an answer. This morning, the Republican leader asked consent to have a vote on his proposal. Just now, I told everyone that we're willing to have that vote, up or down vote. But now the Republican leader objects his own idea. So I guess we have a filibuster of his own bill, so I object. Is there objection to the uh, original request? Yeah, object. Objection is heard. Whiplash. What just transpired deserves a word. Senator McConnell came to the floor this morning and offered a change in law that would help us avoid the kind of obstruction and the kind of showdowns that we've had in the past over the debt ceiling. In fact, the idea was not new. It was his original idea that has been the law of the land and followed. And he offered and challenged Senator uh, Reid to bring this matter for consideration in the Senate. Senator Reid just agreed to, said he would bring this for a vote in 20 minutes, and we would decide up or down whether the debt ceiling problem would be resolved once and for all under Senator McConnell's proposal. And then Senator McConnell objected, objected saying, no, no, we need 60 votes. For those who don't follow the Senate, 60 votes is the equivalent of a filibuster vote, breaking a filibuster vote. So this may be a moment in Senate history when a senator made a proposal and when given an opportunity for a vote on that proposal, filibustered his own proposal. I think we have now reached a, a new, new spot in the history of the Senate we've never seen before. I'm going to ask the parliamentarian to really look into this. I don't think this has ever happened before.